Absolutely. I think one of the biggest problems that I see a tendency to happen is for people to want to go out and find a solution and then try to find a problem to apply it to. And really, it's, that's just, well, backwards. So understanding what your pain points are in your organization. And if you know your organization well, if you know the front lines, if you know the people, you've got those relationships, you can identify those areas and then you look for the technologies and how understanding data, how making sense of it uh, can benefit them. And really, it's not that hard to do. Everybody's drowning in data. It's, it's like pirate's treasure hidden somewhere and you need the secret map to get there. You, you, you've got to know a guy. We've found in our research that a good business case will break through organizational change issues and also uh, get executive attention. So what the business case does is relate to uh, the P&L statement and the balance sheet, which are your executives' uh, KPIs and metrics. That's what they get paid based on. If you improve that stuff, you will get executive attention in a very positive way. Uh, so one example I'll use, a very common application of IoT, industrial IoT, is uh, predictive maintenance. So you. Uh, have some indicator that something about the failure takes some action before it fails. Well, that directly relates to revenue. Because you have a piece of production equipment that fails, it can't make product, you can't ship it, you can't get revenue. So if you make that connection to the P&L statement and the balance sheet, you will get executive attention, you will break through organization uh, barriers, and uh, you'll also get the resources necessary to be successful. Uh, because the executives will allocate that to your project. I would say that different industries would have maturity or adoption at different levels of process and technology. Again, it's not a judgment on the industry. For example, if you take process, traditionally, uh, they have been very good on shop floor automation, L1 and L2, okay? Probably what they have not been doing well is taking that data into the next level of abstraction in terms of using it for new digital initiatives, okay? Similarly, if you look at discrete, uh, their shop floor automation maturity might not be as good as process, but they do a better job in terms of taking the data because of the IT architecture maturity they have. And uh, the best industry, I would say, is probably auto because they've done reasonably well in the automation as well as taking the data and deriving insights in terms of how do they look at the future or uh, the efficiency or what I say as the analytics. I think that's where I would rate auto uh, far higher. There's three types of digital transformation. It's become an overused word, so I, I felt the need to define it. The one is uh, inside the box. So that's where you are uh, uh, automating or optimizing an existing business process uh, within your facility. And that could be something like predictive maintenance on a, on a particular piece of equipment. Uh, then there's the outside the box, which is uh, aftermarket services. So uh, if you're an equipment maker, then it's monitoring the, remotely the condition of the equipment in your customer's plant. Uh, but it could also be the supply chain by providing information to your customers about where the products are and, and uh, the cold chain type stuff and, and things like that. So that's inside the box, outside the box. And then the one that I feel is most important is the no box, where you're developing a, uh, a new business aligned with your existing business, but a new business where you're selling uh, new services to your customers. It may be about their business processes or, or things like that. Uh, and it's a, a, a new business opportunity to grow your company's overall revenue. So three spaces, in the box, out of the box, and no box.
it's amazing to me how quickly this industrial IoT analytics uh, marketplace has matured. I mean, it was just three years ago that uh, when ARC was writing about it, there was it was a, a emerging technology. Very few people had done it, uh, and there were actually very few suppliers who could could uh, work with it appropriately or had products. And now, just in three wow. years, it's amazing to me how rapidly this uh, marketplace has matured where there are, are good solutions out there, proven examples of how it uh, achieves real business benefits, uh, and solution providers like uh, uh, LNTTS who can help out. <music>